What's up guys, I'm Polly Popo and thank you very much for coming to the channel. What I want to show with you guys today is this Mini Mac M1. Um, it has 8 gigs of uh, RAM and blah blah blah, but it's got just enough power, if not more, than my regular desktop. And I want to show you guys that you can put your MPC software right on here. And Fruity Loops and everything, and it screams it. It doesn't just play it, it screams it. I dumped a whole file onto the whole hype folder into a, a track, and it just loaded it all up and I was ready to play. I gave this thing a hell, and uh, I wanna show you in the video, but I was only using maybe 6% of the computer. Serious stuff, guys. So the MPC meets the M1. Let's get right into it. Am I on? 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 Hey yo! 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 Hey yo!
sir. This is a Mac M1, and it wasn't. I've had a lot of people say that they've had uh, problems running this, but here it is right here 8 gigabyte Macintosh. And what this is, and what it does, is it actually lets me use my MPC software, but this is what I'm talking about this right here. Um, it is extremely powerful and it, it's lightning quick. And let's just see, I'm going to record one track pretty heavy, and then I'm going to go back to my regular computer, finish editing this. But uh, so far, so good. I've been able to pull up my OBS. I'm running OBS on this computer right now, and I have tons of stuff going on. I have all of my programs installed. Um, if you look at my plugin list here, we can get to it. Go here to you. I mean, I got all my stuff in here, dude. My VSTs. As a matter of fact, I got this sound right here. Uh, I'll do this, and then I, I might even load up uh, Fruity Loops through my MPC. This way, I can make a song on Fruity Loops, because I grew up with Fruity Loops, and I like to keep on it. Now, um, how I did that, I just went to... MPC, you go to your preferences, and then it'll give you an option to pick your plugins and what, where you want to scan them from. So that's just what I did. So here, let's go right in here, and I'm going to make a song real quick, test out the computer usage, and it's, I'm excited because it's, it's literally my first time able to use the MPC software. I, you never see me with it on my computer, so let's get right into it. Before we go any further, I got to go and I got to make some drums. And how we're going to do this is with our voice. I'm going to hit main, make sure my audio is going in, yada, yada. Go over here to my sampler. And uh, I'm going to set my input for one. All right, we're good. I'm going to go arm for 20 seconds. I'm just going to make some drum noises and then make a program with it, lay it over what we just did. Sounds whack, right? But check this out. I'm going to sample this by threshold. This way it grabs every single chop individually. Pretty close. Close enough for me. So let's do this. I'm going to pitch them down too.
Yo, I guess that's it. Uh, I had a lot of fun. Let's get back to making other videos. This is dope. On my next video, I want to show you guys how to sequence out your audio tracks. It's easy to play your guitar and everything into here. And who would have thought to plug your guitar into a keyboard? And that's what's going to be on the next one. Right on? Here we go. I'm just saying, guys, it's legit. You get this little keyboard, this here, an MPC Live, and you're ready to go. You could basically have a portable studio. Which, which, you know, would be super nice to have like five of these and like five MPC lives. And man, you could just start a whole class and everything right then and there. It's, it's just perfect, actually. I couldn't be happier with this, actually. It's uh, my first Apple product um, that I've purchased. I had a Power Mac G5 and it was phenomenal. But the fan noise was, I, I don't even know if this thing is on right now. The only way I know it's not on is because it's not making a noise. But anyway, I'm going to leave you guys alone. I want to show you the rest of this video or wrap this up. And uh, on my next one, like I said, I want to show you guys how to sequence out audio and stuff. And now that I can do it on the software, I think it'll be a lot easier. So the video production's gone up. The sound quality's going up. And now we're gonna get into the software. So if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. We're gonna tear this shit up.